Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here, and the, 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 we did, the Coulter Wall video exploded. Tyler Childers video, Childers video exploded. Uh, the, the Marcus King video exploded. The Billy Strings video exploded. Uh, all thanks to you guys for liking, subscribing, and leaving links in the comments for what I should do next. I owe it all to you guys. So in those videos, the number one thread is shaky graves. I mean, it is, it is hundreds and hundreds of requests for shaky graves. David Moore, Sean Connor, Matthew Almy, Rye... Mick Donacu, Sebastian Labulette, Mike Minnick, Caleb Wasson, Jordan Smith, Sean Connor, and on and on and on and on. And Roll the Bones is the number one request by far. So here we go. I got it queued up here. This is ice cold, ladies and gentlemen. Ice, ice cold. Haven't listened to it. I don't know who this dude is. But... Uh, I read in the comments that there's going to be a reverse kick drum. Commit. Audio tree. This is wild. Um, so the kick drum is, is literally behind him. He's got the tambourine behind him. And he's bending over. I mean, it looks like he's going to fall over when he's playing. I can't wait till he starts singing. I, I'm assuming he sings. Um, and then the playing, you know, I got to go back and get it. It sounds like he's in like, a, like an open C sharp or something like that. But that first little line, let's go back and get some. If you guys are new to this channel, this is how this goes. This is not your typical reaction, right? I, I try to figure stuff out if I feel so inclined. My sincerest apologies if you're deeply offended. Yeah, so this again. So two different, it's, it's some open tuning because he's got two different roots, two C sharps on the sixth and fifth strings. So, right then. What's that noise playing? Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, so, all right, so. So, did you do a minor, a major third, then a minor third? Yeah, that's killer, that's killer. So I'm C sharp major, right? Third, then C sharp minor. Just, just, just changing the tonality of the one chord. Love it. Let's keep going. That was a six he went to. Down to the B flat. Sure. 
structure for. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sorry to stop it again. Oh man, I, I should go back, but I'm, I'm not going to. All right, the use of the tambourine as the snare coming in and out, right? So it's not like he's holding the same groove the whole song. No, I mean, he's leaving room in there just like a drummer would. I mean, it's, 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 there is space in the beat, which of course makes the beat. So when the snare comes in, you actually get a backbeat, you know, and you start bobbing and weaving, right? The the tone of his guitar is is very cool. The tone of his voice is really, really cool. And I don't really and I have the lyrics in front of me, but that last little line about, you know, you know, unplug your phone and then the whole crash your car thing, I gotta go back and get it. But I mean, he like barely got that word out. Sell all your belongings, all the pretty toys, if that's what he said, try to make a dollar from the grave. You have my attention. Sell them belongings, all them clever drawings, yeah, try to make a dollar from the grave. That was cool. On that nine. I'm sorry, I keep starting and stopping that, but that that freaking B flat chord, that six chord, uh, with with that minor kind of diminished sound, is just haunting. That is a stone cold killer. That one, that one, that one. Is that voicing? It's it's the constant back that 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 it's 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 wherever wherever the thirds are, it's like it's constantly moving. Whether it's major and minor over the one, whether it's minor and then going down to that that nine over the six chord. Sorry to get all theoretical, I'm just trying to figure it out, but when you're, when you're in these different tunings, it's not always the easiest thing, especially when you never play this stuff. Take a chance and roll the bones. Didn't know this was this could keep getting cooler. Wow, this he is the music. I, I I'm gonna go back. I know I know about the starting and stopping. Um, 
You know that comment I made before about the kick drum and the uh, and the tambourine being the snare and him being an actual drummer? Yeah, dudes, 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 got it. Changing tempos, changing feels. He's doing it vocally. The guitar feedback out of nowhere. I mean, this really stepped up a a, a, a huge notch. Let's go back and watch this this transition. This is unbelievable, really. All them enemies and dead souls, they'll just chase you down and give you sour dreams. Oh, yeah, well, short This dude is this dude is great. Um, all right, all right. When I first started the video, you know, whenever you see someone on the kick, you know, like doing the, doing the, what could easily be described as gimmicky stuff. When I first started the video, I was like, okay, what's this guy, what's this guy going to do? And then right off the bat, dude mixes major and minor from the get go. So, I mean, like, right away, it's like, okay, this is not your, this is not your standard, uh, you know, guy traveling in a suitcase, one-man band, uh, open-tuning guitar thing. Dude comes in, you know, and that stays with it when he goes to that B-flat. I mean, it's so evil. It, it, it's a commitment to that. That's one part of it. The other part of it is the really, really strong sense of rhythm and timing and groove that he's got with the suitcase drum and the uh, tambourine, you know, to give you the, the snare, the backbeat. Dude was in complete and total rhythmic control. You can see him. He's in his own land, you know. Forget the click. Forget Pro Tools and and putting things on the grid. Like, you either have it or you don't, and the dude has it. And then the tone of his voice, the way that even in the one part when he's singing what could be considered the hook, how it almost comes out of like as a whisper, and he's like trying to make some money from the grave, incredibly cool. The guitar sound, he's getting the perfect amount of bleed from the guitar. Um, to make the bass notes push, to make the high notes sound out, you know, ring out and, and not get muddied up by the bass notes. It's the perfect amount of amp bleed, but then he's got it on the volume knobs. He can just turn it up a little bit with that hollow body and point it at it and get the feedback. And I love that he does it two times. Maybe it was even three times, but it's more than once. Like, that's, it, it's a commitment to it. It's, it's great. Um, and then just in general, 
I have so much respect for people that do the one-man band thing. I have a friend of mine. You guys probably are getting to know him because I talk about him all the time. Noah Ang, um, who lived out of a suitcase, played in a, you know, literally lived out of his car, drove around as a one-man band for like three or four years. And he also has songs about rolling bones. And he actually carries dice and gives them away at shows because no one buys CDs anymore. Um, just really, really, really cool. Shaky Graves, Roll the Bones. Dude, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'll definitely be coming to see you if you come through Baltimore whenever people go to shows again. Anyway, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I sincerely appreciate it for liking, subscribing, and taking me down these tangents. Show me stuff I haven't heard before. And you do it by leaving links in the description or in the comments. Please keep leaving me links. I read them, and I hit the button, and I do them, and I thank you for it. And then lastly, if you want to support this channel, if you like the way that I teach, you like the way that I play, you want to know how I learn this fretboard, um, please consider clicking the first link in the description and subscribing over at my website, guitargate.com. It's 10 bucks. you get all my courses, you get all my lessons, and it makes all this possible. And if you don't play guitar, send the link to a friend. They'll love it. Win. Win. Cheers. See you in the next one, guys.